Welcome to another episode of Ask the Attorney. I am attorney Vivian Besteros, and today I'm going to talk to you about driving while intoxicated. It's called two different things. DUI is probably the term you've heard, driving under the influence. It's also called DWI, driving while intoxicating. And what it means is driving a motor vehicle when you are have been drinking enough that it affects your judgment. The rules are a little bit different for um, juveniles and than they are for adults, okay? The basic rule, it is illegal to drive if your alcohol level is 0.08% or more. And what does that mean? It means if they took a sample of your blood, if 0.08% has alcohol in it, you are under the influence and you are not allowed to drive. How about minors? Now, if you're under the age of 21, you're not supposed to be drinking. So if you are caught driving under the influence, what does that mean? It means your alcohol level was actually 0.02, which is less than one drink. So less than one drink and driving if you're under the age of 21 is illegal and will get you arrested. Okay, here's our scenario today. You are stopped for a traffic infraction and you are asked to take a breathalyzer test because the police officer smells alcohol on your breath. You get out of the car, the police officer gives you the breathalyzer, you know you just had a drink and you say no thanks. Can that be used against you as proof that you were driving under the influence? Let's ask the people. I don't necessarily know the law about it, but it, very, it looks very sketchy if you were to do this. I think that it is because technically with the Florida law, it says that if you don't take the breath analyzer, you are committed guilty. Even if you didn't drink, just denying it means you're guilty. You should not be drinking anyway while driving um, because it's, it's, it's not safe for you, it's not safe for others. So to begin with, drinking, it, should be, it shouldn't be behind uh, the wheel. What, why are you drinking? I definitely know, like, it's, it's obvious you broke the law because under 21, you're still immature about the alcohol that you should be consuming and how much alcohol you should be consuming. So by you just purchasing it or holding it, that's against the law because you know that drinking at a young age is gonna affect your health negatively and it's gonna affect, it's gonna have bad consequences against you in the future. Definitely 100%. If you refuse to not take a breathalyzer test, then the cop will obviously be suspect of you of drunk driving. If you are stopped and asked to take a breathalyzer test and you say no, it's that mean you're not the guilty of the crime of DUI? No, you'll still be arrested and the evidence of the fact that you refuse to take a breathalyzer will be used against you. So it doesn't even help. Now what I want to explain to you is driving under the influence equals 0.02 blood alcohol level if you're under the age of 21 is considered a zero tolerance rule. There's no defense, no excuse, you are guilty and you the first thing they're going to do mandatory is take away your driver's license and the reason for that is that a driver's license in every state including the state of florida is a privilege it is not a right you do not have the right to drive it is a privilege that you ask permission from the state for and when you do that you consent to a breathalyzer test this takes me to my friend Jane. If you remember Jane and what happened to her when her act of dishonesty of shoplifting got her a criminal record, you'll want to know that Jane continued to go to medical school. She was allowed to take the state board 
and she went out for a little celebration drink with her friends to a local bar that was around the medical school where she attended. She did not enjoy the party. She went into the bar, everyone had a drink, she drank, but she was not having a good time. She decided to drive home. She did not feel intoxicated, we don't know. What happened to Jane is that as she left the bar, what you need to know, on a college campus, law school campus, police officers monitor people coming out of those bars. And she stopped at the first red light, but she passed the line into the lane where people are supposed to cross, which is illegal. And she got stopped by a police officer, which we know the officers were waiting outside the bar trying to prevent people from drunk driving. And when they saw that Jane did something, they pulled her over. Breathalyzer test, 0.03, Jane's under the age of 21. It turned out Jane was over 21, but guess what? It was too late. It was on her record. She got arrested. She had to go and defend herself. She had to go and prove they were wrong. Damage to her reputation, still got arrested for drunk driving, which is immoral. You're causing a danger not only to yourself, but to the population. We have to protect the public from you, Jane. Poor Jane lost her license, not just her driver's license, her medical license, and it took her four years with attorneys to try to get it back. One drink. That's all it took in Florida and in most states. Refusing to take the breathalyzer test automatically lose your license. DUI, first offense, one year for refusing to take a breathalyzer test. One year, you lose your license. Second time you refuse to take a breathalyzer test, 18 months. That's just for refusing to take the urine test, the breathalyzer test, the drug test, the drinking test. If you are a minor and your alcohol level is 0.02 and you are driving, then there's an immediate driver's license suspension. It could be up to six months. It will keep going up depending on your blood alcohol level. The higher your blood alcohol level, the more drinks you've had while you're driving, the higher your suspension is going to be. First offense, usually a misdemeanor. Remember, a misdemeanor is a crime for which you can get up to one year in jail. There are other penalties, fines, probation, but just remember, a misdemeanor up to one year in jail. Second, stop for a DUI you're in the felony zone. Felony, over one year in jail, in prison, excuse me, which is out of state. What happens if you hit somebody? True story, I have a friend who's a prosecutor and I asked him this question. I asked him what was the most serious case that he felt was maybe the harshest punishment and this is the story that he told me. The judge was crying as he sentenced the student to five years in prison for DUI homicide. She was driving home from a party in college with her three friends in the back seat and one next to her, got into a car accident, and he did tell, he was the prosecutor, and he told me she wasn't even that drunk. It probably wasn't even her fault, but her blood alcohol level was at the legal limit. She got into a car accident. The person sitting next to her died. Five years in prison for her mistake. The prosecutor was the person putting her in prison and he felt bad. He said it wasn't even her fault. But even though the accident was not her fault, the theory is she, if she wasn't drinking, she could have avoided that accident. And so she was a cause for the death of her friend. Her life was ruined. The judge who had a daughter the same age cried as he sentenced her. Did that prevent anybody from sentencing her? Did that prevent her from going to prison? No. She still went to prison. 
She probably just had one drink. Another thing you need to know, expungement is not allowed. What does expungement mean? Expungement is when you petition to have your record clear so it doesn't show every time you apply for a job, a license, a government benefit, it's not removable from your record. One little mistake like Jane and it's there forever. So Jane took her four to five years to, after she passed the board, to get her medical license. And that after a large cost with attorneys. Florida, first offense, up to six months, you get a fine and your, your license is suspended. Second offense, up to six months in jail, fined, license suspended for a year. Third offense, 30 days to five years in jail or prison, fined, and 10 years license suspension. Remember, just one drink will raise your blood alcohol level high enough that you will be convicted. It will be on your record, never to be erased again. Is it worth it? No. Thank you.